The animation opens up at a colony of emperor penguins, who are the tallest and heaviest of the penguin species, and their habitat is in Antarctica. Here, we see a musical going on with a female named Norma as the lead singer. The female emperor penguin attracts a mate by singing a unique heart song, and if the male penguin's heart song matches the female's song, the two penguins mate. Norma, while singing and searching for a mate, gets interrupted by Memphis, a male penguin whose heart song matches hers, so they fall in love. The couple mate and produce an egg, which Memphis cares for while Norma leaves with the other females to fish. At night, while the males struggle together to keep themselves through the harsh winter, Memphis briefly drops the egg. It is a rule that every father must hold his eggs firmly, so they won't fall because the outcome might be the loss of the chick. However, Memphis hurries to where the egg fell inside the snow, pick it up, and returns to the group of males. The next day, the sun shines throughout the icy land, melting some glaciers and also, assisting in the hatching of the eggs. The fathers watch as their chicks hatch from under their stomachs to come off, happy to meet them. Memphis, on the other hand, stands with his egg which has refused to hatch, and gradually starts to accept that he might have lost his child. His friend comes along with his newborn named Gloria, who begins tapping on the egg with her beak. Suddenly, the penguins hear a song coming from inside the egg and the legs of the newborn shoot out first, instead of his head. The egg rolls across the floor and Memphis goes after it to where it has hatched and is happy to see his son whom he names Mumble. The baby begins dancing with his feet, which is strange to penguins, so his father tells him not to do it again. The time soon comes for the female penguins to return from their fishing, so the males stand outside with the newborns, waiting for their arrival. The females appear and the males carefully walk, with the babies under them, to go greet the females. However, Mumble runs out from his father's protection into the crowd to look for his mother by himself, and Memphis goes after him. Memphis searches for his son amid the crowd, where he finds his wife. Norma scolds him for losing their baby and suddenly, Mumble calls out to her from behind. She is happy to see her baby and they both embrace each other, after which she feeds him with food that she regurgitates. Mumble starts school but finds himself behind his mates as he is unable to sing but can tap dance. Singing is a necessity for emperor penguins because it is part of the activities that bond them as a community. The little penguin is taken by his parents to a singing coach, who helps him discover his voice. But all is futile as Mumble continuously comes out with a horrible voice and tap dances at every chance he gets. This gets his parents worried, because not being able to sing means that Mumble would be single all through his life. Nevertheless, the little penguin found a place of solace, far away from the other penguins, where he could practice his tap dancing happily without any form of judgment or criticism. One day, while dancing, Mumble encounters a group of hostile birds who try to eat him because of the scarcity of fish in the ocean. Mumble tries to distract them and escape, so he inquired about the yellow band tagged around one of the bird's legs. The bird begins explaining that he was abducted by aliens, who did a lot of torturing things to him. While he narrates his ordeal, Mumble escapes, falling into a crack in an iceberg, while the birds attempt to pick him with their beaks. Frustrated, they fly away, so Mumble sadly begins heading home. The school year is still on, and Mumble's mates are gradually perfecting the art of singing, and he remains the odd one out due to his inability to sing. The little penguin looks to the sky, wondering if there is another world out there where he would belong. Time goes by, and Mumble grows into a young adult and is told that he wouldn't be able to graduate with his mates, so he watches them from afar with his family. Norma, however, conducts a separate ceremony for her son and sends him to join the other graduates on their first time fishing expedition. Mumble is frequently ridiculed by the elders and their leader Noah, who believes that the young penguin has a dark future and a bad egg. The young penguins all go into the water and have fun while they wait for the fish to arrive. While swimming, Mumble meets Gloria, a penguin whom he has a crush on, so he swims along with her and tries to confess his feelings to her. The arrival of the fish interrupts his attempt and Mumble catches a fish which he later gives to Gloria. On their graduation night, the penguins gather on a glacier to sing in celebration of their achievements. Mumble, on the other hand, constantly spoils the songs when he tries to join in the harmony and his mates boo him and taunt him. He sadly goes away to an iceberg, where he spends the night and wakes up in a different place. Mumble calls out to Gloria and his mates and receives no response but an attack by a leopard seal. The young penguin swims for his life while the seal relentlessly goes after him, snapping its teeth at him. The chase goes on for a while and Mumble finally lands on the ice where he escapes from the seal. 
He meets five Adelie penguins named Ramon, Nestor, Lombardo, Ronaldo, and Raul, known collectively as the Amigos, who embrace his dance moves and also him to join their group. Mumble agrees, and they take him to their colony where he sees the rest of their species, and some of them are marveled at his tap dancing skills. The group later goes out to glide among the icebergs, with Mumble finding himself happy than he has ever been as he enjoys their company. While gliding, he sees a hidden human excavator in an avalanche, and this spikes his curiosity. Mumble tells the amigos about this, and they take him to a guru named Lovelace, to ask about its origin. Lovelace has the plastic rings of a six-pack entangled around his neck, saying that they have been bestowed upon him by mystic beings. However, the penguin does not have a suitable answer to Mumble's question, and even leaves him more confused than before. For the Emperor Penguins, it is mating season and Mumble is sad that he won't be able to sing a heart song to capture Gloria's heart. But the Amigos offer to help him get his heart's choice, so they all head to the colony of Emperor Penguins. At Mumble's home, Gloria is the center of attention and the other male penguins try to capture her heart with their songs, but she doesn't seem to have an interest in any of them. The Amigos unsuccessfully attempts to help Mumble win her affection by having Ramon sing a song as he hides behind Mumble, while the latter lip syncs. Gloria gets upset with Mumble for trying to win her over falsely, and begins singing a sad song. Mumble desperately begins tap dancing in sync with her song which she falls in love with and the youthful penguins join in for singing and dancing. The elders are appalled by Mumble's conduct, blaming him for causing an uproar and also making the penguins tap dance. They see his attitude as the reason for their lean fishing season, saying he has brought the wrath of the gods on them. Mumble, however, tries to defend himself by saying that there are aliens out there who are the reason the fish are disappearing from the water, not him. But the elders shut him up and accuse him of trying to cause division among the tribe. Mumble's mother comes to his defense, but his father joins the elders in discouraging him. Memphis then reveals that Mumble's condition is because he dropped him as an egg. This revelation comes as a shock to Norma, who never knew this about her son's birth. Memphis then begs Mumble to stop dancing, for his own sake. But when he refuses, he is exiled. Mumble then announces to the elders that he would find out what is causing the fish to disappear, and prove them wrong. Mumble and the Amigos return to Lovelace to ask him where to find the aliens, only to find him being choked by the plastic rings. Lovelace confesses they were snagged on him while swimming off the forbidden shores, beyond the land of the elephant seals. They try to get the rings off, but it proves difficult for them, so they decide to follow Lovelace's directions to find the aliens who would remove the rings from his neck. Thinking that they would find the so-called aliens there, Mumble and the Amigos take Lovelace with them, so into their journey. Along the way, Gloria encounters them and confesses to Mumble that she wishes to become his mate. Fearing for her safety, Mumble turns down her request, and when she presses further, he ridicules her, driving her away. After Gloria heads back to the colony, Mumble sadly continues on his journey because he has lost the love of his life. Mumble and the Amigo journey for a while and soon arrive at the land of the elephant seals. The seals, however, warn the sojourners that their journey is a dangerous one and that the aliens won't hesitate to wipe them off the Earth's surface. But Mumble presses further on his journey, with the Amigos following from behind, and they travel through the blizzards together as they struggle for their lives. The next day, the group wakes up and finds out that Lovelace is nowhere to be found. So, they follow his footprints which lead them to the forbidden shore where they see him. Lovelace gestures into the water, and they see lots of plastic and also the plastic rings that he has on his neck. They are on a boy when they see a figure coming towards them and soon realize that it is two orcas. The killer whales begin attacking the penguins, throwing Lovelace into the water, but Mumble goes in to save him. The two penguins are then tossed around by the orcas, and Lovelace gets free from the plastic rings during this process. Thereafter, the penguins swim out of the water to escape from the killer whales. After escaping, they find a fishing boat which Mumble decides to go after alone to stop them from taking their fish. He parts ways with the amigos, telling them to greet his mother and Gloria, after which he jumps into the water as he swims to the boat. Mumble tries to get on the fishing net, but he is thrown off by the fishermen, so he exhaustively follows it. He relentlessly swims far away from his home, across vast oceans as he is carried by the current toward his destination. Mumble eventually gets washed up on the shore of Florida, where he is rescued and kept at Sea World with some other species of penguins. He sees the humans and complains about the famine happening to the penguins because they are stealing their fish. 
but no one understands what he says because all they can hear is penguin noises, which kind of scares them off. After a long and secluded confinement in addition to fruitlessly trying to communicate with the humans, Mumble loses his mind and nearly succumbs to madness. He begins having hallucinations about seeing his mom, Gloria, and the Amigos. One faithful day, when a girl attempts to interact with Mumble by tapping the glass, he starts tap dancing and this attracts a large crowd. The people marveled by this artistic display by Mumble, and they took photographs of him. He is released back into the wild, with a tracking device attached to his back, and he returns to his colony and challenges the will of the elders. Mumble announces to the starving penguins that the humans are responsible for the disappearance of the fish. He mentions to them that they are on their way to their place and instructs them to tap dance so they would find favor from the humans. Gloria has become the singing school's teacher for the penguins, so they decide to give it a try despite Noah's orders. The entire tribe begins tap dancing, while the elders try to overshadow them by singing over them. Mumble reunited with his mom and the amigos, after which he is taken to where his dad is. Memphis, who had already slipped into depression, reconciles with his son and also learns how to tap dance. Mumble and his family dance together and join the other penguins outside just as a research team arrives, verifying Mumble's statements about aliens existing. The entire colony engages in dance in front of the research team whose expedition footage prompts a worldwide debate. Some world leaders realize that they are messing with the food chain of the penguins and suggest opting out of marine harvesting in Antarctica, while others argue that the penguins are useless and at the bottom of the food chain. This debate resulted in several protests and movements across various countries of the world, which eventually led to the banning of all Antarctic overfishing, satisfying both the Emperor Penguins and the Amigos. Gloria and Mumble get back together, and the famine on the penguins comes to an end. This is where the movie ends. Thanks for watching. See you soon with a new movie recap. Till then, stay happy and chill out.